take three. Expressing yourself isn't always easy, but there is a way to make a statement that people can't ignore. That's by wearing a shirt that says it. Oh, it's possible to buy a shirt with a message, but to make it personal and unique, print it yourself with a silk screen. It's easy. There are four steps to silk screening. Getting the materials together, preparing the screen, printing the shirt, and color fasting. I'm going to be using the screen filler method. The materials needed are textile ink, a squeegee, screen filler, drying fluid, masking tape, a silk screen, paintbrush, can opener, plastic spoons, soft lead pencil, stir sticks, toothbrush, cardboard tabs, cardboard, newspaper, test paper, an iron, a t-shirt, and a sink nearby. Kits are available, which include most of this basic equipment. If you're going to be doing lots of silk screening, it's a good idea to start with a kit, which is available at most art stores. The next step is to prepare the screen. A new screen should be first washed with a mild detergent and scrubbed with a toothbrush. After it's dry, you are ready to draw the design on the silk. It's a good idea to first draw the design on the test paper and then trace it with a soft lead pencil onto the silk, which I have done. Turn the screen over and decide which areas you want printed. With a drawing fluid, paint the part you want printed. I'm going to print the inside of the letters so I'll paint them. After the drawing fluid dries, use the screen filler to block out the parts you don't want printed. An easy way to do this is by spooning out a lot of screen filler onto the end of the screen and then sweeping it across with a squeegee. The drawing fluid will prevent the screen filler from sticking to the areas to be printed. When the screen filler is dry, rinse the screen with cold water. The screen filler that's over the drying fluid will rinse out. You may need to scrub a little with a toothbrush. While the screen is drying, prepare the shirt by putting it on a piece of cardboard. This prevents the paint from going through to the other side of the shirt. I have this one set up and centered. I want to print right here. Mm -hmm. Before you print, check the screen for pinholes by holding it up to the light. If there are any, touch them up with screen filler. I don't see any. Now, I'll block out this lightning bolt because I'm going to print it on the back of the shirt later. I'll also block out these sides with tape so no paint can go through. Now, I'm ready to print. I have these things ready and handy. Textile ink, squeegee, plastic spoon, can opener, stir stick, 
and cardboard. Tab. Position the screen on a test paper. Like so. And get your paint ready. And you'll probably have to stir it. Just stir it until it's all smooth and, and non-lumpy. Spoon out a generous amount of the paint onto the end of the screen. Hold the screen with one hand and sweep the squeegee across with one smooth movement. Then lift the screen straight up and off the test paper. Check to be sure it's exactly how you want it. If it's not, this is your chance to change it before printing your shirt. This is how I want mine, so I'll place the screen centered on the shirt and do the same thing. Hold the screen with one hand and pull the squeegee across with one smooth sweep. Lift the screen straight up and set it down where it won't get anything dirty. Using the cardboard tabs, scoop up the extra paint on the screen and put it back in the can so you don't waste it. It can be reused. Also, scrape the excess paint off the squeegee and spoon. Then, take the screen directly to water. Textile ink will dry in the screen and clog it if it isn't rinsed out immediately. Use cold water because hot water will remove the screen filler. If you don't want to make any more prints of your design, then you can clean the screen with hot water and detergent. About half an hour after printing the shirt, You'll need to color fast it so the ink won't fade or wash out. Put a clean cloth or several pieces of paper on the design and iron it with a hot iron inside and out for about five minutes. So, now your shirt is ready to wear. You can print as many of them as you want in one printing session. I only wanted to do one today. You can also silk screen jackets, posters, or any other smooth surface. Let me go through the steps to silk screening one more time. First, get all the materials together. Second, prepare the screen. Third, print the shirt and clean the screen. And finally, color fast the design. Express yourself in a way that can't be ignored. Print your own design on a shirt. 
or two, or three, or four.